move. Today, national correspondent, national investigative correspondent, Jeff Rossin is here with more. Hey, Jeff. This goes beyond your normal stalking of me. Okay. And this is serious <laughs> stuff, and it's going to surprise a lot of you. It's on my phone right now. Here it is, and it surprised me. Did you know that if you have an iPhone or an Android device, chances are every single thing you do is being tracked right now, location by location, down to the exact minute you were there. So who's getting all your information? And how do you shut this off? Pull out your phones right now and get ready. We're about to show you everything. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, it's scary. When we hit the streets, whoa, no one knew about it. On the 5th, you were there from 7.18 a.m. to 9.24 a.m. Holy cow. Yes, even this police officer was shocked. The mother load of personal information stored right on your phone for anyone to see where you live, where you work. See all those little blue dots? It even maps out where you go, including the date and exact times you were there. Tech security expert Jim Stickley. Very creepy, very disturbing. So most of us have it. I imagine almost everybody. On the iPhone, that personal tracker is very deep. Go to privacy, location services, system services, scroll down even more, and there it is, frequent locations. But if you think that's invasive, storing all that data in your device, Stickley says it gets even worse. I think Android's far creepier. Um, Android you can track online, and to me, that's, that's far bigger risk. That's right. He says if you have an Android phone, all your tracking data is sent straight to Google. It knows exactly where I was. This morning knows where I was sleeping, how long I slept for, when I left, when I arrived here, and that it knows right now, here's where I'm sitting. And I don't need your phone for this. I can look at this right if I have access to your account. You could be any computer anywhere in the world and pull this up. And it goes far back. You can go to any day. I can go a year ago if we wanted. So here, yesterday. You can see I started out over in California, traveled across over to Texas. It sees exactly where I went, exactly when I went there. And if I zoomed in right now, I would see exactly where in California and exactly where in Texas we are. You'd be able to see where I had lunch in California. Did you know this was here? No, I did not. I'm not too pleased about that. <laughs> kind of creepy. Time to bring it to the people. I'm going to show you a hidden thing on this iPhone. Okay. Look at this. I even know where you live. Yes, you do. What do you think of this? It makes it really easy for people to stalk you. When we show this group of new moms in the park. I don't need anyone to know where I was. They were downright scared. These are all the places you go to. It shows a map of where I've been. It's scary. I'm at home alone with my son all the time. I don't want anybody to know where I live. And you just there. knew this would come up. So you're saying I could take my husband's phone <laughs> and look at all the places that he's been recently. Yes. So maybe I won't tell him how to turn it off. <laughs> Hope he's not watching right now. <laughs> Why do they have it there? Like, what's the purpose of it? Good question. Apple says they use the information to provide personalized services, and it's kept solely on your device and won't be sent to Apple without your consent. The question is, when did I consent? Is it one of those big forms that I just had to agree? Well, everybody just agree on everything and never read it, so I imagine it would absolutely be one of those forms. Apple wouldn't tell us if they take the data or not. Google, the maker of Android, telling us users have the ability to enable or disable location capabilities, both on their Android device and Google account. But for our friends on the street, it all came down to one question. So how do I turn that off? How do you turn it off? <laughs> you know, how do you turn that off? <laughs> Yeah, good question. You guys yeah, want to know that, too. Yeah. All right, so you guys all have iPhones, right? Yeah. All right, so let's do this. We're going to walk you through it. Take, Keep an eye on this. Okay. This iPhone is plugged right here. So start on your home screen. Okay. Okay. Go to settings. All right. Mm -hmm. You see settings is up. Yeah. Okay. Then, <laughs> Wait, we're settings then go to privacy. You see privacy down here? Yes. Yeah. Hit privacy. privacy. Okay. On the top, location services. Right. Yes. Mine's Hit lo off. Location Yours services. Off. Mine's off. Oh, oh, you're good. Get out of here. You're good. You're good. Yeah. You're excused from the you class. Get an a. Thank you. <laughs> so that's all right, okay. so in location services, scroll all the way down. You see it says system services right there yes, on the bottom, right, right down yes. over here. Hit system services. Okay. Scroll down even more. Frequent you see it? locations. Frequent locations. Hit that. You see that? You yes. oh. It has Got all it. where you've been. I'll be yes. checking yours out later, Natalie. What? Hit, hit wow. clear history. Clear history. Okay. Clear history. And then shut frequent locations off. I want to look at it. Oh. That's crazy. Boom. It's off. Wild. Done. 22 off. locations recorded around New York. Now, what do you wow. think? Oh, my God. You the dots. Chipotle. Yes. Chipotle. 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 Chipotle.
it. Yeah, and so, but, go ahead. What was well, the question? I was just going to ask you because, you know, I want my GPS to work. There's that's, certain yeah. things so I want the that phone still to be able works. to do. This is only shutting off the frequent locations thing. Everything else you have on your location services will work. What about Bye -bye. Android? Yeah, so on Android, if you go to my Rossum Reports Facebook page right now, www, God, who uses that anymore, right? Facebook.com slash Rossum Reports. I have a video with step-by-step -step instructions on how to shut it off on your Android device as well. And that, our expert said, is more scary because you can access that from a computer. Yeah. So yeah. you don't lose anything by turning it off? Nothing, Nothing. by frequent locations. Okay, okay. Nope. all right. You can still order out. Uber, you can still order food. Other than okay. Danielle yeah. not knowing that you went to scores. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here are step-by-step -step instructions on how to delete the location history and also to shut this function off entirely on an Android device. I have an Android device right here. I'll walk you through it. Home screen, you're gonna wanna go to settings right there. You hit settings, you're gonna see all this. Go to network connections. Scroll down on network connections to location right here. When you click on location, it's gonna say Google location history. Click on that, it's on. You're gonna hit delete location history on the bottom. Yes, I understand, I am deleting it. Then just hit off and it's off. It's that simple. Now it's gone from your Android device as well. Hope this helps.